Uh, now, I know you've told us this before, but we have, uh, you know, Subtoberfest has given us a lot of new listeners. Uh, how did you come to land the job of being the musical director and so on for the Steve Martin and Martin Short live show? Sure. Uh, started with Marty. In 99, I auditioned for his short-lived talk show. Okay. 1999. Daytime talk show. Day, well, that was part of the problem. It was daytime <laughs> in some markets, late night in some markets. Oh, really? It was King daytime World. here because I had a job that I could watch it. So That's I, right. I did watch it. King it. World produced it, who's not known for their late night entertainment. Mm. They're known for game shows at the time. Uh, they got the show made and then they realized the market, not all of the uh, what do you, affiliates, affiliates agreed on the same time. So Marty's like, so we're playing against Jenny Jones and you know, Letterman. Right. <laughs> How do you make that show? So he just said, screw it. We're going to make a stupid show that we like yeah. and we'll get canceled, but we'll have a good time. And, and that's how he kind of does his life. This probably isn't going to work, but let's, Let's have some fun. Great. And uh, so he, you you auditioned for that, and then and for the got house it. band, got it. Yeah, yeah. I, I replaced a friend of mine, now deceased, so I don't have to. I'm not talking crap, but um, he had lost the job, and I stupid. I was very green at that point. I was having coffee with a guitar player that was already in the band. I had just come off the road doing a kind of jazz tour in Europe. He said, "I, I said, what are you doing?" He's, "I'm doing this new Martin Short show." I said, "Get, I I need that. Why am I not doing? You know, mm. I'm SCTV since and SNL since I was." like Oliver like that's what like you like a kid like yeah. we're, we're I'm that's my as much as music I'm studying that not to be a comedian just because I love it yeah and I hear he has a show I was like Jesus why don't I get these calls I get home I get the call and I say no that job's already filled sir okay <laughs> said, uh not anymore uh come on down to center staging <laughs> audition Marty's brother, uh, Mike Short, who's a writer as well, wrote for SCTV, wrote for Schitt's Creek. Uh, he's auditioning. Jeff, do you know, there's this character, um, Jackie, Ro Jackie Rogers Jr. Would you like me to play the theme? Yes. I mean, it's like, right. you're just playing to my VHS collection. This is all I'm doing is pushing play. And, and so it was, and I knew all the band anyway from other gigs. So it was very easy for me to get, but I had dyed my hair blue. <laughs> because because uh, I'm Garen. Because uh, you're because, touring Europe as a jazz, as a jazz player, so I, I got bored board. on the road. So in London, on the last run, I said, "I'm just sick of this life. I'm going to be cool." Wow. <laughs> Dyed the hair blue. Second thoughts afterwards, but now it's and then with my hair being kind of blonde, it faded quickly. So now it's like a guy that's been in the pool with with uh, treatment <laughs> too long, and uh, went to the audition with a kind of as Marty calls it, my Gilligan hat, bucket hat mm -hmm. over it because I don't. And, uh, you wore a hat to the audition. Well, I don't want, is blue hair or a hat a better? I don't know what's best. I don't know either. Uh, had That's... I known I was kind of like here, I wasn't prepared for it. I got called because somebody had gotten canned. Yeah. So I just go run over to Burbank with my hat and they said everything. <laughs> and what I heard later, everything's good about Jeff, but this hat. <laughs> <Jeff>. <laughs> so Marty would like to see you at CBS television city tomorrow. Okay. And I don't know what's about the hat. I just think, so I'm kind of nervous. The hat goes back on. Uh oh, <laughs> and Marty, did you, did you, Cross your mind, like maybe go get your hair dyed of a regular. I think it color. was 10 a.m. the night, like no time. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think this is from three that afternoon till. Yeah. Probably now I would have done that, made a last minute appointment. Yeah. But at that point, I just think the hat wasn't a problem. <laughs> maybe it was my personality. <laughs> so I went over and met Marty, and he, and he was in hair and makeup doing a bit, and he's. Jeffrey, nice to meet you. Off with a hat. <laughs> Sir? That's it. Oh, that's not a problem. Uh, he was apparently concerned uh, I might be bald and have another Paul Schaefer. They didn't want to have another Paul Schaefer. Oh, oh wow. They saw the balloon. Well, that can come out. So they said, you're hired and we'll see you, see you tomorrow. Oh, that's great. And then that turned into live shows. That show only lasted six months. We started to, he said, well, we're going to test some live shows. The great Bernie Brillstein was his manager at the time. One of the great characters of all times. Mm -hmm. We're going to put you on the road, kid. He was that guy. He right. was that <laughs> character. Um, put us on the road. We tried stuff in, we tried stuff in uh, Naperville was our first gig. Sure. Um, I managed a record store in Naperville. Is that where the record store was? That was one of them, yeah. Was that the home of Crate and Barrel maybe as well, I feel like? Oh, I don't know the answer to that. That, was, that would be after my time. <laughs> Na Naperville, we did two shows. That's what we did, a matinee, and, and uh, it was a hit. And so it was just, at that point, Marty and myself on piano, kind of an old stool, school cabaret. Yeah. Then we'd hire local bands. I would write the charts and bring the orchestra books Sometimes the bands were good. Sometimes <laughs> you so get hot. that first note from the trumpet. You go, oh boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, and then we then Steve was doing his show at the Steve Canyon Rangers. We kind of joined forces. We tried that out. I think at like a Lexus corporate worked great. And for the last eight nine years, it's been that. Yeah, that's wonderful. Now. We 
hear the whole conversation, subscribe for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts, or visit nevernotfunny.com.